Hi, welcome to Island Flair, an interview cooking show where we talk to some really interesting people and teach you how to prepare some incredible dishes right in the comfort of your own home. Today, my special guest is somebody who is one of what I, what I would call a world changer because she's touching and changing the lives of people, not only here in the Bahamas, but also in the United States. Uh, it, it is my great pleasure to welcome to Island Flair today. Thank Miss you. Erica Morris. Thank you, Jamal. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fabulous, mm -hmm. like I look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to start. Yes. Uh, but tell us, tell us a bit, um, you know, a, a, a bit about yourself and you know the work that you're doing with um, young ladies. Okay, well, mm -hmm. like you said, my name is Erica Morris, and I started my own um, clothing line. Mm -hmm. and the name of my clothing line is Nabu Lange. Say it with me. Nabu, Nabu Lange. Lange. Yes, it's Swahili for beautiful word. I wasn't cursing. I was no. repeating after her. <laughs> Nab yes. Nabu Lange. Yes, and it was created specifically for women okay. and young girls. Mm -hmm. And it's to empower women. Mm -hmm. You know, it is my belief that whatever a woman wears says so much about who she is without her having to articulate it. Mm -hmm. If I walk around with a t-shirt that says the B word on it, mm -hmm. and I walk down the street. What do you think that person down the street who sees me, how do you think they're going to treat me? Mm. Exactly. But if I wear one down the street that says beautiful or fabulous or beauty is a blissful soul, mm -hmm. they're going to treat me as such. So yeah. you so you would say you you dress then how you would want to be addressed exactly. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's pretty cool. So then with the clothing line, then I, I guess it, it is what more of a conservative, stylish. Well, how, how would you describe I it? I would call it conservative, sexy. You can be conservative and you can be sexy also. Uh huh. No, you don't have to have your behind hanging out. You don't have to have all of your boots hanging out. You don't have to have all of that. Uh -huh. And also, to be a, a, a lady, you can wear things that are feminine right. also. Uh -huh. And, you know, my shirts are very body conscious, mm -hmm. you know, but they're not spilling everything out. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay, so so then <coughs> would you say that um, that the clothes and stuff that, 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 that you design or do um, helps to bridge the gap as to what it is that you try to... Um, to, to, to mentor or, or the direction that you yes. put, point the girls into? Yes, because mm -hmm. number one, if you realize what's going on in society, let me give you some statistics. By the time a woman, a young girl is 17 years old, she sees over 270,000 images. Mm -hmm. And most of those images are telling her how she should look. Mm. Okay? Mm. You need to look this way in order so you can achieve this lifestyle. Uh -huh. You need to act this way so you can have those type of men to come and do things for you. Mm -hmm. And I am, how can I say it? I like to say I'm like the gospel music to fashion. You know, CNN has, I'm sorry, hip hop has become this generation CNN. Mm -hmm. So when they watch the music videos and they see the girls gyrating and the way that they're acting and the clothes that they're wearing to you know, entice the guy with the money who's making it rain and everything, mm -hmm. what message is that transmitting to a young 13-year-old who's watching it? Oh, that's what I need to do. That's how I have to act to get that type of man. Mm -hmm. So that's what my, my clothing line is about. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I guess um, a, a lot a lot of um, what we see is bombarded, at least from the airwaves, um, and even visually, it's like everybody's selling sex. Exactly. You see, even if they're selling a car or a soda, you know. It's sex. Uh -huh. And you know, I'm a women's studies uh, major, and we've done a lot of uh, ad campaigns. Mm -hmm. And I cannot even watch a music video without dissecting it. Mm -hmm. I can't look at an ad without dissecting it. If I'm selling a stick of gum, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's a woman in a bikini top, no face, nothing else but just her breast. Mm -hmm. And they have a stick of gum here. What message is that sending to a 13 year old boy? Mm -hmm. What does her boobs have to do with you chewing gum? Mm -hmm. And that is an actual ad. Mm -hmm. And the media actually, it, 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 the media influences 
our mindset. Mm -hmm. So the media will tell you this is what you want, this is what you have to look like. Mm -hmm. And I'm not here to say not to look at that and say, oh, you know, that isn't beautiful, but understand and know what it is that they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, so that's that's one of the things. And I deal with a lot of the social issues that the girls go, go through. Mm -hmm. I work with a group of at-risk girls. They've all been administratively dismissed mm -hmm. from regular schools. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read your story. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes they just need someone to steer them in the right direction and to let them know, sweetie, no, 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 boo-boo. No. You don't have to dress like that or look like that to get attention. Mm -hmm. So you're just the girl that a guy will play with, but does he want you for his girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what has the response been with your program, like, locally and also no. abroad? Abroad, my program abroad is more on the way it's more established there. And because I do take a portion of whatever it is that I'm, well, right now I've been taking all of the proceeds that I make for the social and cultural development of the girls in my program. Mm -hmm. Some of the girls have never, I, in the United States, I have a girl that has never been on an escalator. Mm -hmm. I had another girl who has never been to the beach, you know, mm -hmm. so my what I do is try to expose them to let them know you have a choice. Mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. I tell my girls there, you can make 10 worlds of what you don't know about the 305. It's so much bigger than this. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. And here I'm just starting a program. I have a couple of proposals that I'm waiting for approval on, but the one program that I'm starting is called the Surrogate Aunt Program. It's at the Willie Mae Pratt Center for Girls. Mm -hmm. And what w myself and a couple of other women, what we'll be doing is going there on Sundays mm -hmm. and for the girls that don't have any visitors we're gonna go and sit with them and share a meal and maybe one day Island Flair can come and you know cook a meal for the girls or something <laughs> just just a little thought. yeah yes. well I tell you mm -hmm. what um, what we could do today mm -hmm. um, I could show you something that probably would be an incredible meal very easy that that would be a hit with the girls okay I think this this could probably be like a like a girl's night out type of treat. Exactly. You see? Mm -hmm. uh, and it is, is a bit international in this flair. Actually, what we're going to be preparing today is a shepherd's pie. Okay. But what we're going to do with it, though, we're going to, uh, as, as we always do, we can put our little twist on it. So, well, listen, we can see how all of that go in a minute. But okay. you, you good in the kitchen? Of course. I am fabulous in the kitchen. I'm all warm. Every woman. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break, and when we get back, well, we'll be outside in the kitchen making our shepherd's pie. But you stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right. That's pretty cool. You know what you like.